Are you a teacher that would like to enhance their lessons to the use of computers and technology? Well, then we have the blog for you. It's titled Web 2.0 Tools for Teachers, Bridging the Divide. In this blog, we talk about some of the resources that we as teachers use in our classroom. We talk about three of those, which are blogs, screencasts, and uh, an assessment tool that I like to use, which is called classmarker.com. The neat thing about this blog is that we've done all the legwork for you. We've created screencasts here, and I'll show you those in a minute, that walk you through step by step on any of the tools that we use. And also, if you have any questions, we've also on our blog at, um, put our email addresses. So if you have a question on something that you um, just can't figure out, by all means, please email us. And you can also post questions to the comment section of each blog. Here's the comment section. So let me just show you some of the features of our blog. Well, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is classmarker.com. Classmarker.com is a free online assessment tool. What you do is you set up your students, your, your classrooms with your students in there. You create your test. Then your students can take their test online. Or if they want to, they can take them at home. Or you have the option now um, of where and how to manage your test. So in, these, in this series of videos, I show you the first video how to set up your teacher account. The second video, I show you how to set up your classroom students and manage your um, classes. And then the third video, I show you how to create and manage your test. Another tool that we like to use as teachers is screencasting. And right below here, I, I have a blog that walks you through how to do some screencasting. And it tells you the purpose of screencasting, gives you some free screencasting tools, some services, um, how to make a screencast, which is preparing the screencast and then recording it. And it also talks about two different methods on creating screencasts. One of the methods that I like to um, use is the graphics tablet and do my screencasting through graphics tablet. Another teacher that works with me likes to record his screencasts using the flip camera, which is really neat camera that you just plug into your computer and you, you record, you plug in your computer and you're done with it. So it's kind of a, it's a plug and play. The other tool that we talk about is wikis. Wikis are online collaborations where you set up a you set up a page. Students go to that page. They can copy paste edit that page any way that they want to. It's a really cool tool. And again, we have set up some screencasts here that will walk you through the process of creating your first wiki. And also, on that there is um, there is an example. Let me just scroll back up here. An example of a of a wiki, and I'll click on that and just show you an example of, an, of a wiki. And this is a colleague of mine that he, he created this wiki. And you can see that it's pretty straightforward, has a home page, and then over here we have a sidebar and some tabs. Let's look at the math topics. In the math topics, you can create any type of topics that you want, um, some of the units and things, and then the students come in here and they edit and paste and copy and paste and plug in their different things that they want to include into the wiki. It's a real neat tool and it gets kids on the computer, you know, analyzing, copying, pasting, you know, collaborating. So it's a really good and neat tool. If you would, please come and visit us.